Hey guys, uh, it's Jules. Thanks for coming back for another Stitch With Me video. Um, sorry I missed last week. Uh, definitely was not able to talk my way through it. And even as you can tell, my voice is not 100%, but it's way better than it was. And I can still talk pretty comfortably, I believe. So it should be good. It is St. Patrick's Day here in the United States, which is a honestly uh, fun holiday for most. Um, you know, I don't necessarily celebrate, uh, the holiday. Um, it's fun if you're out and if you're not, I don't think it really matters. So many other things going on in the realm of stuff that's being done today, sporting events and cultural events and all that other stuff. So, um, it's all good. Today we're doing Ronnie Rowe, Market Square Cavern, um, ish. So as you can see, I've actually been working on it already some today. Um, I pretty much filled in these two squares right here. And um, my next phase of my thing I wanna do is just fill this in here, just cause this is the very dense part, the uh, front of the tavern with some, looks like a, a bush there. And then when we reach about this point, or even this point, but definitely down here, it gets a lot more sparse. So this area goes a lot faster. And so, um, so anyway, so we're definitely making definitely making good progress here. So just gonna I thought this would be a good piece to work on today. Just to get a nice more chunks done on it. But I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Uh, been doing a lot of stitching the last couple of days. Working primarily on oh gosh, no, I'm not gonna remember. Um I did work some on the baseball project this morning. Not a ton, but some, but a lot of it was rainy waterloo place as well. Um, I know I'm not quite in the light here, guys. Hold on. Worked a lot on Rainy Waterloo Place um, Thursday and Friday night. Get a nice little chunk of that done. And uh, just scoot up here a little bit, readjust my camera. And um, anyway, yeah, so getting stuff done there. And. Uh, just trying to get a bit organized with everything. I, I did put up some more posts on the um, the blog, and I'm going to put more up. I want to do that when I'm uploading this video, so that'll be my goal for this afternoon. Get the rest of the week's progress, last week's progress, up there because I like looking at it. But um, oh. Tell you what, I'm about tired of being sick, I think. I, I think I finally reached that point where I've realized that I really need to jump to a doctor as soon as things start to worsen. Um, I don't know what you necessarily, I definitely had a viral issue, um, but it was, was that a week ago Friday, I got sick with just aches and chills and lethargy and felt a little better on Saturday. Um, at least in the morning, I had taken a bunch of like emergency and, you know, water and just, you know, Dayquil and all these different things. And I thought I was doing better. Still wasn't great. And then Sunday woke up and it just took like a new turn. And anyway, so I was sick like all this past week and missed about a day and a half of work roughly, I think. Oh no, maybe a, a full day. Cause I don't think I took a full day off. I just took like Monday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, yeah, that was actually it, and so it was just a day. But everybody at work got sick. Um, well, with the exception of like, I think it was like 80% of the folks at work got sick, and of the 80%, probably roughly half went to the doctor because um, it was that bad. And everybody um, had a slightly different version of what I had. And uh, but the uh, there's a a little small ER that's not close, you know, that's pretty close to my house. It's where we went when my husband had his allergic bee sting reaction. And um, they do a great job. They get everybody in and out really fast. And it's just, they're really nice. And I, it's just, you know, back in the days of where you used to have to either go to your doctor's office, which, you know, it, and it's, I, it's kind of impossible to make an appointment when you can't even talk. <laughs> so, um, that and then just being super busy and then their hours are just 
not convenient with mine usually. And, um, and then it also just takes longer sometimes when you go in there for, you know, cause they're so backlogged and then going to the ER, the actual hospital ER nowadays is kind of a, I don't know. It takes way too long. There's so much red tape, bureaucracy and whatnot that goes through going into the hospital. So going to these smaller health places, I could have gone to like the, uh, like the drugstore or the grocery store has the, you know, the clinic and whatnot. And I could have done that, but I just, I kind of liked just the set aside and you did, and that's a crapshoot too, because that's walk-in. So you might be waiting for quite a while, but, um, no big deal. In the end, I got a, one of those Z-Packs, the azithromycin heavy duty antibiotics and a bunch of steroids and some eye drops because it was all a mess. I was all a mess. And you know what the amazing thing was and all that, my husband never got sick, which I was so thankful for because I don't want him to be sick because then if he's sick and who's going to take care of me, right? <laughs> Cause I wasn't, I wasn't good enough to take care of anybody all week long. So it's all good. But anyway, I hope you guys are all healthy. Everything's good there. So let's see what else is going on. Um, my husband and I, or my husband went down, checked on the bees. They're all doing great. We're progressing nicely towards the beginning of the season. And uh, it was funny last night. We started doing these. Um, you can do them on YouTube where people will hold up their the frames of the honeycomb where the bees are placing the honey in, and people will hold them up or show pictures of them on the um, on the screen, like on a YouTube video or whatnot. And I've used to be quite bad at picking out the queen bee amidst all the other bees that were all over there and because uh, there's only one queen per per frame or sorry one queen per box per hive and um so it can be hard to pick her out sometimes but we were funny enough we were practicing last night while we were laying in bed trying to go to sleep and we'd pull up a thing and then we'd go there it is and uh so my husband's been quizzing me and teaching me up on stuff so um the B class that I've been taking is going nicely. We had last week off, which was awesome um, because of me being sick. I was still going to go to class, but I wasn't sure how good it was going to be um, with me just not feeling well. But it turned out that we didn't even have class, so that worked out great. Um, let's see here. What else is going on? I got things to tell you, but I'm just kind of holding out just a little bit because I'm like, I could talk about the big things, but I guess I'll, I guess I'll tell you guys what's going to happen here. Um, so uh, my husband and I tonight are going downtown to see Hamilton, the musical, which got to say we have actually been quite looking forward to. So it um, should be a blast, should be a blast. Um, my husband's a big theater buff, loves to go, and, and I like to go to most things. Um, we haven't gone a lot in the last year. We've been very busy, and there just hasn't been a lot of stuff coming through that we really wanted to go see, so we were sort of, you know, I'm trying to remember the last thing we did see. The last, I know the last thing we saw we liked. But from everything that everybody's telling us right now that, and this is, I guess, the national touring, I don't know if we're the first group or the second group to get this national touring show of Hamilton, but, um, the first city or the second city, but, um, it's, um, it's supposed to be quite good. Uh, I have some friends who have already seen it and really liked it. So that bodes well for a good night. So the only downside is that it is St. Patrick's Day, so it's going to be a lot of crazy people. Hopefully all at that time inside watching basketball or whatever. But we don't really watch, I don't watch basketball tournament. I used to when I was a kid. I used to be all about watching NCAA tournament. And even when I was a kid, my family would have brackets and we would film out and whatnot. And it was all good. But as I've gotten older, I just, you know, I, uh, we were we went out last night for dinner and looked at um, we were someplace where you know they had the games on and whatnot and 
watching the the games and and you know it's just there's so much hectic hect, hecticness hecticity hecticness I don't know it's very very hectic um very frantic um watching these guys play uh they're just all over the place um you know they shoot Kareem somebody grabs the ball they run down the court they drive the lane throw up a wild shot get a rebound go back you know it's just it's just not pretty, and it doesn't get pretty until, like, the Sweet 16 um, or even the Final Four, to be honest with you, but I'm just not a fan. I, I, I got out of basketball a long time ago, but what I am excited about is the wrestling, and uh, college wrestling national championships are on this weekend, and tonight is the finals, um, so I'm super excited because... My favorite little wrestler, my favorite little wrestler, um, Spencer Lee from Iowa, uh, has made it to the finals as a true freshman, which is pretty amazing considering the weight class, the quality of the weight class that he had to go through. And I, uh, I was, got home last night and uh, I had recorded the match. I didn't know what I didn't know what had happened and whatnot. And this was a guy that he went, the guy he was facing had just beat him in the Big Ten championship, and he, uh, and I was like, oh, man, I mean, a lot of times I feel kind of confident in the kid's abilities and his drive and whatnot, but I'm like, the guy he's going against uh, has won three national championships, and, you know, and, and what do you, you know, what are you going to do? And so anyway, so he, uh, it was pretty, um, it was pretty amazing. He, he wrestled one of the best matches I've ever seen him wrestle, and I was jumping up and down and screaming and yelling for him, and my husband just laughing at me because I was kind of an idiot. And um, my poor dog, Jelly, the, the refugee that cannot handle when I get like that, um, she was shaking and running around. And and then when the match was over, I had to pick her up, put, put her in my lap for a while and and uh, wait until she calmed down. But uh, anyway, I was super excited. So the downside is, is we're going to be going to... Um, uh, you know, the play tonight and whatnot. So I won't be home to watch it live. I am going to definitely get spoiled. I can't, I can't not find out. Um, but I'll be rooting for him. I, uh, I just, you know, there's something about wrestling that is, you know, it's person on person and it is all about your technique and your strength and your skill and your stamina. And it's all about you. And it is, I don't know. It's like, to me, it's like one of the best sports to really kind of find out, like, you know, what you're made of kind of thing. I'm going to highlight here for a second. You know, kind of like cross stitch. Cross stitch will test you. You know, it'll, you know, it'll, it'll break you down. It'll make you, you know, question, you know, your motives and reality. And no, nah, I'm just kidding. Cross stitch should always be fun. And if it's not fun, don't do it. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Bow. All right, all right, everybody settle down here. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So, so yeah, so it was wrestling. And then the other thing I did this morning, I had a little brief spurt of energy and I got some got some uh, cleaning out done some um, am I getting this right no no I just got that wrong um, I have a friend of mine close friends of, of ours that are selling their house that they've lived in for like 15 years or whatnot and they have two two twin girls and you know we've every time we've been over to their place it's just been you know, they just have so much stuff, you know, I mean, with, with everything you can imagine. And um, so they posted some pictures of their place online, just, you know, to show, you know, hey, we're selling our house, da da da, whatever. And I took a look at them and I'm like, holy cow. And I, I texted my buddy and I just said, hey, how many storage units did you guys have to rent in order to clear out your place? And he said, zero. They either donated or threw everything away. Um, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. And he's like, it's really quite easy. Like if you, you know, if you're not using it, you don't need it, this and that and whatnot, just get rid of it. And so my husband was like, that's a great idea. And uh, so he's been kind of 
talking about that and whatnot. So today I decided to just go ahead and get some uh, get some preliminary work done and clean out some areas. Definitely I don't need stuff and just get it done. So I'm doing the clearing out and he has to do the taking it to Goodwill or putting it out in the trash and whatnot. So, so it's pretty good. It's going to be nice, I think, when... Uh, you can, you know, reduce like the clutter in your house by a significant portion and then that way it's just less stuff to keep neat, keep track of. I'm not sure why sometimes those kinds of concepts are hard for me to understand, but sometimes they are, you know? Sometimes we're just not ready to hear what we need to hear. Like, go to the doctor when you get sick, dang it. I mean, that kind of advice is just, you know fall on deaf ears when you're not ready to hear it sometimes you got to be told all right child take your silly little self to the doctor it's a beautiful day outside although it is a bit windy of course i need to take off my little overshirt that i'm wearing right now oh <coughs> but uh it's all good. It's all good. Huh. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Sorry guys, I'm just I'm I'm counting and counting is hard. Counting is hard, man. So, oh, I'm just in here thinking. I'm not even talking. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Just listening to this. Some kids playing sports outside. I'm not sure what game they're playing. It's down in the park somewhere, but I can hear them periodically screeching and screeling. Screeling? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I had a, uh, well, okay, so I'm all set to start Boba Fett, except for the idea that I can't find my color chart. There's two reasons why that's significant. One, I could easily just simply go into my computer and print out a new color chart. And why I haven't done that yet, I have no idea. I just keep looking for the one that I thought I had. And the other thing was I had a dream last night that I found the color chart. But then, of course, in my dream, I don't remember where it was that I found it. So I just need to print it out. We'll just go from there. It's all good. Hmm. Um. I want to get I don't want to get on like super serious topics or anything like that but there's a uh, um you know the whole thing with this bridge in Miami falling down and whatnot and the pictures of it and whatnot it's just such a it's just gonna come out that it was a horribly negligent negligent issue and I, I hope that whatever comes out of it that this kind of stupidity never happens again um just, I mean, looking at it from a physics perspective, one solid span across the highway with some top support, you know, the cable support. But then, I mean, I don't even know, like, what the, it, what little I've seen of the, the base supports on the outside of the bridge. 
it doesn't look, it just never looks strong enough. I'm not sure exactly what the, whoops, what the, um, engineering principles were behind that, but it just doesn't look good enough. And they just revealed that they had actually had a meeting about a large crack that had appeared in the area that it ended up failing in. Um, they had just had like a two hour meeting before it collapsed in which the lead engineer is like, Oh, everything's fine here. Nope. It's not going to cause a problem. And I'm like, to me, any major crack that appears in a structure within a week after you've erected it is enough of a danger to basically block an area off and and just say, hey, you know, this this is a safety issue. Let's just check it out for the afternoon, just make sure everything's cool. But people didn't do the right thing and people lost their lives. Now, the reason why I tell you this is because I want, it's an offshoot of this. If you have, um, you know, like maybe kids in your life or students or whatnot, and they're like, you know, express any interest in bridges or how to build bridges, there is actually a game um, online that you can get. It's called Bridge, I think it's called Bridge Simulator. And it starts at a very rudimentary, you know, this is a short span and lay this down and do you need anything else to support the bridge? And then um, you build the bridge and then they're like, all right, you satisfied with your construction? And you say like, yes. And then it drives a car across it. And if the car makes it all the way across, then you go on to the next bridge uh, building challenge. And I've watched guys play that before. It's kind of funny if you have the right person if you're watching the right person, because it's just sometimes just in terms of their, you know, when they're thinking out loud, it's just kind of interesting to, to hear all that. But, but I just thought, you know, this might be an interesting time to get kids interested in, I mean, as bad as it is, but when it's something that, you know, it could inspire others to go in and do a better job. Let's just say that. I should have put my glasses on for this. Should have put my glasses. I gotta take my glasses tonight for the musical, just so I can see. I can still. We sit close enough, thankfully. My husband is always sits pretty close, but he. Um, but I. I would definitely bring my glasses for this event tonight. But, um, just a little strain. And it mostly has to just do with the sh little bit of shadowing that I'm getting right now. But not a big deal. So I think you guys can see it pretty well. I think I can just lift it a little higher, make it a little easier on myself. Hmm. Get in there. Get in there. Hold on. Got to be able to see a little better. Hmm. All right. New thing of thread. Bow, bow, bow. I wonder if I'll take a nap before tonight. It's not a bad idea, just to feel my best. But, we'll see. I still got things I want to do today. Still got things I need to do today. I don't think I'm throwing any more stuff out, but we'll see. But, um, we <coughs> are, um, Oh, so let me also talk about, well, you know what? I'm going to wait to the second part of the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the first part here. I'm going to get to the second part. All right, second part. So, um, all right, well, let me do, let me highlight. I should have highlighted before I came back. My goodness. So, fish tank update. We finally called it quits on the small saltwater tank. Um, the algae problem just got so out of control that I was losing ground and then it started growing this new 
kind of algae that I didn't know what it was. And I'm like, all right, two kinds of algae? Yeah, I'm done. So I'm done with that particular manifestation of a saltwater tank. I'm not done with saltwater. Um, I am... I can't use that rock that I used because no matter how much you clean it, odds are there's going to be one tiny fleck of algae that will be there and that will infest your next tank no matter how fastidious you are in cleaning. So right now the only thing in the tank is I still have some of the sand. I still have a ton of the algae. And I've got a snail that's alive and I've got um, the clownfish and a possible emerald crab that might be alive, but he hasn't moved in like four days, so I don't know. May or may not be alive. Um, but I'm giving the clownfish away to a friend of mine who has a saltwater tank, give him a nice home, um, and then we're going to just restart up. We're not going to do too much bigger because this tank right now is 20. I think I might go 30 gallons and do that. Um, but so I can still use a lot of the um, equipment that I had gotten in, in anticipation of expanding that tank. So, um, and this time I'm gonna do it like a lot better than I did before. And then what we're gonna do with that 20 gallon that we have, um, that has like all the filtration inside of it and everything, once I get it all cleaned out, I'm gonna put the axolotl in there, give him more space. Cause right now he only has about a 10, 10 15 gallon tank or so and so I want to I want to give him more space in there so um and he's doing great although I'm trying to I want to start varying his diet a little bit I want to get some earthworms and let's see hold on two three three and four and um, even maybe some tiny little feeder fish that can live in there. And then if, you know, if they just happen to get hunted down by the axolotl, then, you know, that's it's life in the big fish tank. But I figure it's probably a good time to kind of make his life even a little better. He's doing great. He, he is totally like, he's just Mr. Slug. He just kind of hangs out and does his thing and gets most excited when he sees me walk by he follows my shadow and it's like hey you got any worms there lady but other than that everybody else is doing well but yeah we're just gonna just gonna do the salt water a little bit different just a wee tad different going to have a lot done for this week's progress report. Right, I'm going to hold on just a second. Okay. I actually went downstairs just now and got my glasses <coughs> so that I can see a little better what I'm doing here. I still find it funny that they're like, you know, you don't really need to wear glasses. I'm like, Pfft. Do you cross-stitch? Do you know what that's like to not be able to see your cross-stitch? Oh, what's that? What happened here? Something happened. Something popped through. Didn't need to be popping through. I was just trying to think of what was that other piece that I just started on that I got a, a literal start on it and I was like well what piece was that what did I just do and I'm sitting here and I still can't think of it I mean technically baseball and maybe that's the one I'm thinking of I don't 
No. Oh, I just I just put too much on myself. No, don't, don't feel bad for me. I just it's not that. It's uh I have too many interests and I'm also like a shiny object kind of person. Like something else comes along and I'm like, "Ooh, that looks great too." So I just Sometimes I just have more things, well, a lot of times I have more things that I want to do than I have time for. Must prioritize. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. I'm going to have to, uh, I don't know what. What? Oh, I broke it. Oh, no, it's broken. Okay. I'm going to cut that right there. I'll fix that up on the back. So, you can... If you want to see the little bit of a trial and error thing. I, now, I doubt that would come through because that has a massive snag in the back right here. Um, kind of see that. But what I'm going to do is when I start my new thing of floss here, I'm just going to fold this down and fold it right in there so that I can get wrapped in there and get more stuff done on that. That would be just fine. Oh, I am getting tired. I think a nap would be advisable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to thread this needle. All right, people. All right, so. See, I've got to do this. We're going to give ourselves a big old tag there. Um, humma, humma, humma. Humma, 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 humma. Where am I? What's going on? Hold on, I'm just looking. Oh, guys, I'm getting tired. I just made a mistake. Just made a mistake. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just like, hmm, tired. I don't think I have the uh, strength to work on that part of it. I'll just make a note to myself to come back and and do that. But I'm going to go and work up, up here. So it's just I did that line. I did that, this end of this line a little a little wrong, so no big deal. I'll fix it the next time I get started on this. Oh, I just don't have the the will to kind of get in there and work on it at the moment. Break it apart, start it all back down again. I mean, it's it's like six six stitches. And it's not going to be a big deal, so I'll get it fixed though. Because you never know with these pieces. As far as you get one pixel off, is it going to look weird? I mean, you wouldn't think so, but I don't. I don't want to take any chances. Oh, didn't get that one right. I'm like, all right, glasses, come on. Gonna need magnifiers here. Well, I got the magnifiers right here. Let me see if that's better. Sometimes you gotta go with what works. Bam, turn that sucker on. And, oh, hello. Now, can you guys see that? Okay, let's make sure you guys can see that. Let me just focus in. There we go. All right, let's see if we can both focus on this. This is a little better with the magnifiers. Uh, except when I get an itch in my nose. That's hard. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I keep looking over at the pattern, that's why I'm, I pause between stuff. Get everything all bunched up. It is going to be pretty good here when I get on this last page where I won't have to uh, I don't have to uh, gather up the fabric as much as I've had been doing so. 
that bottom right part of the pattern is so much easier. Well, my goal would be actually to try to get this video uploaded before I leave tonight. I think I could have enough time. It really depends on how fast YouTube can get things done. So, we'll stitch a little longer here. Because I am getting tired. It's hard to sit up straight sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to almost like have it so you guys can't see it, which is not my intention. I feel like I'm not getting this quite right. It's hard though. You guys like me to do Ronnie Rowe, but I feel like it's not a very good, it's not always the best visual. Sorry. Oh man. There we go. going to go to the end of this floss and then I'll probably call it a call it a video because it's hard for me to I, don't, I can't think of anything else to talk about what am I going to talk about with you guys which is just sit it out all right I'm taking these magnifiers off now I can't nothing's working right no, I shouldn't even say that everything works just fine Except for me, ma. Put my glasses back on. My glasses. Oh, boy. It's a nice night, but I think it's going to get a little colder here, which you know, makes sense. But we haven't had like hardly any snow. Cold weather hasn't really been around too much. It's just been kind of weird, you know. De definitely the anti-Colorado kind of winter, if you can even call it winter. We're actually talking about needing snow just to try to prevent fire dangers, which <laughs> this time of year is ridiculous, but it is true. The winds are so heavy and somebody does something silly and 
lights a match or something some in the wrong place and we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So I have all day tomorrow stitch. So Oh, I oh, that's what the other thing I did. I finished that page on Apothecary Shop. That was the other thing I did all Thursday to make sure I finished that. Totally forgot about that. Well, got that done. Got a bunch of Radiant Waterloo. Going to have this done. Going to have some baseball done. It'll be time to do some Reaper and Old World Map 2. And then maybe I literally get started on Bubba Fett. That would be nice. Oh, man. Hold on. There we go. Come on. Give me. There we go. Hope you guys are making progress on all your favorite projects. I think I passed up my um, one year floss tube um, anniversary not too long ago, something like that, which is awesome. I think I've just passed over like 1,500 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. It's so cool. And we're making progress on the stitching, which is what it's all about. Come on. Come on, 310. Don't fail me now. Getting hungry, which is not a good sign. Two, four, one. Um, primarily just because I'm not eating anything until dinner tonight. So, stomach, deal with it. about finish up here um, thanks if you made it this far thank you uh, that's awesome um, we're, we're getting into some good areas and all the projects with the exception of I gotta make more pro pro progress on baseball and Reaper and uh, but everything else is looking lovely looking so lovely It's all good. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna upload this thing. I'm gonna hope to get this out before we leave in a few hours. We'll see. If it doesn't come out tonight, you know, I wasn't able to get it done. But we're gonna do it here. At least give you all the for those who made it to the end, the joy of seeing the piece. Yeah, let me just pick this up. Oop, sorry about that. There we go. I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt today. Haha. <laughs> anyway, there's the piece. See, we're making progress. We're getting there. Very cool. Thanks for following along, guys. We'll see you next time.